Kelly, do you acknowledge that it is illegal in this country to vote twice in the same election? Are you referring to the president's comments earlier today? I'm just asking you a basic yes or no question. Do, do you not, believe it is illegal to vote twice the president, in this country? The president does not condone unlawful voting. Uh, the president's been very clear about this. I'm once again not surprised the media is taking the president out of context. Do you recall what the president said on this matter specifically? I, I, have, I have it right here. Sure. Okay, maybe you should read it out for me then. Okay, so the, the, the president said that, that you should go to your poll, you should vote early by mail. And you should go either uh, early voting or day of and try to vote again. So he is asking people to vote by mail and then to go down to the polling place on election day and to vote again if their vote has, if, if they can't confirm their vote has been counted. You are missing a very crucial line from the president's remarks. If it is not tabulated, meaning your mail in vote, then you will be able to vote in person if it is not tabulated. Kelly, there, this there, is there why are at least five states in this country that, that do not count any mail-in votes until election day. So those votes won't be counted until afterwards. So th there's no way to know whether or not their vote is There's good. a very simple answer, and this is how it works. First, a lot of states have what are called electronic poll books. And what this means is that in real time, this is updated. So if your vote is counted, they check the electronic poll book, and you will not be able to vote in person because your vote has been counted. Um, there's a secondary situation. So those who do not have electronic poll books, every single state in the country, you can cast a provisional ballot. And that is a ballot that is there. And if your their, your vote that you have not mailed in is not counted, they will then count the provisional ballot. And that is exactly what the president's referring to. But what Democrats are doing is saying this. We want an entire new system for voting, one subject to fraud. Don't take it from me. Take it from Jimmy Carter, uh, who said in 2005, as part of a bipartisan commission, absentee ballots remain the largest source of potential voter fraud. So what Democrats want you to do is say, trust us, but don't verify. Don't verify that your vote's been counted. This president's trying to enfranchise Americans, which is exactly what he's been saying. He wants every American to have a vote because he understands what Jimmy Carter understood and what so many of us, of us understood until the president started putting the focus on mail-in voting, and that was this, that it is subject to fraud. Every vote should count, and every American should verify that their vote is counted by going to their polling What do you say to the executive John. director of the North Carolina Board of Electors who says that this would be create a big problem on election day? <laughs> What I would say is that the president has laid it out very clearly. You should verify your vote. And not only that, I would appoint uh, them to the fact that in 2016, before we tried this entire new system of mass mail-out voting, 319,000 votes were not counted that were cast by mail. 319,000 in an election that came down really to 80,000 votes in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. That's untenable, and hundreds of thousands more will not be counted with the Democrats' fraudulent mass mail-out voting system. The president wants enfranchisement, plain and simple.